Howdy folks, Coleman Alderson here for GardensAll.com. I'm out here, it's a beautiful day in January, and I'm out here in our cattle panel greenhouse, which is holding up quite well. Very pleased that we decided to go ahead and uh, make ourselves a greenhouse. It is done very well, and uh, we're just pleased as punch how we're able to grow so many different things and overwinter so many different things, such as, here's our longevity spinach. I think this is a cutting that was taken from last year and it is technically a tropical but we have converted it, converted, say that word, converted it over into a semi-perennial with our help because when springtime rolls around we'll have this planted probably in a larger pot and we'll continue on harvesting throughout the winter and into the summer and into the year following and the year following. So Hey, it's a perennial, right? We're just helping it along. We like this. Uh, check it out on our website. Uh, look up Gynura procumbens or longevity spinach in, your, in the search box and you'll find uh, an article that we worked up on it. it. Tells you a lot about it and why we like it so much. All right, today the topic at hand is planting in eggshells. Heard of walking on eggshells? Well, we have a little twist on that, and I'm sure you guys have probably heard or seen something about that. And the object is to recycle and make use of objects and things that are around the house that perhaps might be useful rather than going out and buying little individual, uh, you know, those little planter, forget what you call them, like grids that you plant in. And, you know, you're saving a good bit. What we're doing here is we've these in half of course emptied out the eggs we cut them in half and I'm inserting soil into each of the um, into each of these little guys they're placed in the original egg carton that it came that they came in and once we get everything planted I left the lid here so we'll cover it up here and make just a little miniature greenhouse that will help the seeds right along now each of these has been um, let me pick a good one We've punched a little hole right there in the bottom to let drainage occur. And we're using a really cool seed mix that we've talked about a good bit in the past. This is our uh, black gold and we get it at our local hardware store. Really good stuff. It has just the right ingredients that get your, your seeds and, and has perlite in it and all that to really help uh, get things started. In, combination with we're using um, I don't know whether you can see it or not it's back here it's a um, it's a warming mat uh, that we use and it's very low voltage but it keeps the temperature below on a tray like a tray of, of seed startups it keeps it around 70 to 75 degrees and we like that that's uh, and so the plants that really helps a great deal getting the germination thing going Back to this, what we're doing, starting off with, is I've taken, we're taking a little leap of faith here. And recently we've done some studies and research and really are fascinated with the prospect of planting more perennials, more perennials that will carry on through the year, similar to our, um, our uh, you know, the sort of do-it-yourself perennial here with the, with the longevity spinach, Gynura procumbens. Well, we're going to try planting out in the garden and one of the things we're going to try out and i've done a bit of research that i looked for the hardiest artichokes i could find for our zone 7a and came up with violetto globe artichokes and supposedly these are a, a italian type and they should uh, they're saying they should do well they don't give an exact zone but we'll plant them out you got to start them early around here so here we are in about mid-January. We're going to set these into our little eggshells. Only going to do six of these starting off. About three seeds per shell. Water them in real good and get them uh, incubating, I hope, and growing. Hopefully no little chicks pop out of there, right? <laughs> and um, we'll see how they, how they come up. And then we'll transplant them to a larger pot, maybe a, a three-inch or four-inch pot. Grow them on a little bit more. So we'll have some really good, excellent transplants to set out when the soil warms up and that's where we're headed so 
what we've done is um, I took three of these seeds and they, they sort of look like sunflower seeds and I just poked them right in there and I'll follow up with a little bit of pre-moistened again the black gold just follow that up and it's okay to get your fingers dirty <laughs> it's part of the fun and set it back in and this will be repeated for all of these then we'll come with this is a great little device here it's a little mister and it's put out by Han Solo yes and um, it really does a great job it's easy to pump up and you're basically focused this is great for misting it's great for what we're doing right here is I'm just gonna put enough on here to saturate and sink in, in through and th these are great by the way for microgreens if you you're interested at all in growing microgreens let me get the label up the microgreens um, we've been growing these in this greenhouse so we've kind of flipped over from where we were doing it inside in a small indoor four shelf greenhouse now we flipped over and we're we're growing all our microgreens out here because hey right now it's about 45 degrees outside and it is 67 right now when I first came in it was 84 but we've opened up the door and the window at either end and that's how we m moderate the uh, the temperature just by opening and closing door or window at either end well we will carry on and I appreciate your dropping in to visit if you have any comments or questions about growing in eggshells or any experience you'd like to share we'd love to hear from you on our Facebook page or you can uh, just send us an email we have a little alert bell at the uh, on the um, what do you call it YouTube yeah YouTube on the YouTube up there where you see us posted click on that for alerts and you can of course subscribe and uh, join the fun and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel we'd love to see you up there so this is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. I hope you guys are safe and well and having a wonderful winter. And we look forward to sharing more with you as we progress into late winter and early spring. So you all take care. So long.